What's formicary corrosion? That's a mouthful. Hi, I'm Chris with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week we're going to talk about what formicary corrosion is, what causes it, and hopefully how to prevent it. Without further ado, here's the training. All right, what's this type of corrosion? Have you ever found a rusted coil? Maybe just a few years after the date of installation? I bet the reason for this rust is what is known as formicary corrosion. It's pinhole corrosion, typically happens in copper alloys, usually identified with black, gray, or blue discoloration around the leaks. It's a chemical reaction on copper between water, oxygen, and organic acid that cause these tiny leaks. I bet you, or certainly someone you know, recognizes what I'm describing most recently in some white colored line sets, let's say in the last five to 10 years. Believe it or not, formicary corrosion is not something new and our trade knew about this years prior. Why is it important? Since limited parts warranties in the HVAC industry has reached an all time high, ranging from like five to 12 years or even limited lifetime, formicary corrosion could cost homeowners and even contractors significant money in refrigerant based repairs instead of equipment replacement. These repairs could range from a more simple refrigerant leak to even failed compressors. Unfortunately, repairs only get the system operational once again and will not exactly correct the real problem. I would expect continued issues in this application until the conditions causing formicary corrosion to be neutralized. Where do you think this corrosion can happen? Basically, anywhere you have four elements that are needed, copper alloy, oxygen, water, and organic acid. If you have those four, formicary corrosion could run rampant. Even though nowadays most technicians think unsealed line sets first, the most popular place to find these pinhole leaks are in weak copper evaporator coils. If a manufacturer used less than ideal weight copper on their evaporators, this pitting could penetrate the thin walls of the copper bends. Even though this corrosion was present for years, if the wall of the copper tubing is thick enough, it may never actually spring a leak. The more popular place to find formicary corrosion this decade is ductless wall mount indoor units. I think this is because there are so many being installed in new tight homes and the lack of good air filtration for most. The off-gassing of VOCs or volatile organic compounds in building materials, lack of proper ventilation, and constant operation, means there's always a wet coil in those climates, poses ideal conditions for formicary corrosion. Since this corrosion causes tiny leaks that's almost undetectable to the naked eye, unless you're looking for corrosion, which could happen inside insulated line sets, this means regular maintenance may not even uncover the issue. This leads us to the question at hand, how can we prevent or correct conditions that lead to formicary corrosion? Well, the only way is to delete organic acid from the equation. In residential air conditioners and heat pumps, the presence of copper alloys, oxygen, and water are always gonna be present. By sealing the older white insulated line sets, installers were trying to avoid the presence of water since the rest to include organic acid from the insulation were already present. Don't get me wrong, if you stop using copper somehow in installs, then that could be the quickest way to avoid set conditions. Maybe our trade will develop a better way to connect high pressure refrigerant systems or coils made of some other heat transferring material in a futuristic model. This leaves us with the choice of how to stop organic acids. You really only have a couple of options. Eliminate or dilute. Eliminating harmful VOCs that introduce organic acid can be accomplished with some premium IAQ products like new Calgon's iWave or the Remy Halo alternative. Pleated filters are not gonna do the job as they may filter larger micron items like pollen or smoke, but will not break down anything chemically. The only other alternative is diluting the air by introducing balanced ventilation like a HRV or an ERV. Although this doesn't guarantee the fix, organic acid is less likely to form per studies over the last decade. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.